Hello guys, welcome to Tech Greens. So in continuation of our series on Hadoop tutorial, uh, today we'll look at how exactly the right operations happen in the Hadoop HDFS world. Uh, in the previous video, we discussed in detail how exactly the read operations are performed in the Hadoop. So today we'll look uh, in how the right operations happen in the Hadoop HDFS world. So guys, let's start. Uh, uh, HDFS follow the write once read many model, uh, uh, which means that uh, HDFS files cannot be edited. However, we can append data into the existing files. And for any kind of read and write operations, uh, client need to interact with the name node, which is the master of the Hadoop cluster. And uh, to write a file in HDFS, uh, client interacts with the master name node. And uh, name node will perform the uh, basic authentication check for the privileges and check whether that file is already existing or not and then it will uh, provide the client back with a list of addresses of uh, data nodes on which the actual blocks would be written then client directly interacts with the uh, writes data on the data nodes so name node doesn't come into the picture uh, name node provides the metadata address uh, location of the data nodes and then client directly like write data on the data nodes now data nodes will create uh, a data write pipeline which is meant to create the uh, replicas of of a single block across uh, two other nodes if the default replication factor is three okay Mm, so now let's see in detail what exactly happens when you try to write a file in the HDFS. So first, HDFS client will, you know, try to create a distributed file system, which in turn will talk to the name node, uh, get the list of uh, uh, name uh, data node addresses and locations. Then one FS output data stream is created. Uh, which in turn starts writing the blocks to the uh, data nodes from the list of available data nodes. And then uh, it waits for the acknowledgements back from data nodes once the write is finished. Once all the acknowledgements are received, then the signal is sent to the name node that the write operation is successfully completed. Uh, now let's see each of these seven steps involved in the write step in detail. So the first thing which happens is this HDFS client creates, a, a, sends a request to create a distributed file system. It is an uh, input output file system API provided uh, by the Hadoop. It's a distributed uh, file system APIs. Then in the step two, it will make an RPC call to the name node. It will make an RPC call to the name node uh, to uh, a signal name node that a new file needs to be created, needs to be written. Then uh, name node will perform checks for permission and check whether the file is already existent or not. Uh, and return back uh, distributed file system with the uh, list of addresses of data nodes. Uh, <clears throat> then this distributed file system creates one output stream to write the binary uh, block data to the uh, data nodes from the list of uh, uh, provided data nodes. And this uh, output stream reader is the place where that particular file is actually split into blocks. And these blocks are written to an internal queue of output stream called the data queue. So each block is written to the data queue and the consumer of the data queue is the data streamer, which eventually performs the right operation on the first data node. So data streamer is the consumer of the data queue where the uh, splitted file blocks are placed and data streamer is the one responsible for actually performing the writes on the first data. So uh, when the data is already written on the say first data node, then uh, a pipeline is created between the uh, next available data nodes to perform uh, the replica of to create the replica of block on the other data nodes. Uh, this phenomenon is called uh, pipelining of data node because here 
uh, this data streamer doesn't write on the other data nodes. However, one data node will uh, will forward a block to the next data node, and similarly, the next data node will send it to the third data node. If the replication factor is three, then obviously you will have three replicas. So that's why we would have three data nodes. So here data streamer is written on the first data node. Then this data node is written to the next data node. Similarly, this data node is written to the last data node. And in the same order, it keeps on receiving the acknowledgements back. So uh, data output stream uh, maintains one acknowledgement queue. And uh, the packets are only uh, received from data queue once the acknowledgement is received for those particular block packets. Uh, the, uh, the data blocks, one important point to note here is the data blocks are copied in parallel. So it's not that the, this operation will happen in uh, sequence, but the write of uh, uh, the data blocks on the data nodes happen in parallel. Uh, in the step number six, which is here, once the data uh, writing is finished, uh, client will call the cl close on the output stream. And this action will flush all the remaining packets in the data queue to the data node pipeline. And then it waits for the acknowledgements. Uh, once all the acknowledgements are received, then uh, client will contact to the name node to signal that the write has completed successfully. Uh, one smart thing uh, which we need to understand here is now this process is complete, but name node is already aware about you know uh, what are the different blocks for that particular file which is getting written. So it just wait for the blocks to be minimally replicated, just to reduce the overheads of uh, receiving acknowledgements. Uh, once the minimum uh, replication is achieved, uh, name node. Name node uh, successfully assumes that the file is written, uh, and this minimum replication is governed by this property. It is uh, DFS dot replication dot minimum, and default value is one. That means once even the data is successfully copied on a single data node, name node will assume that the file is safely written, and then the pipelining of data node will create the replicas of the uh, blocks on the other data nodes. So guys, uh, that's it in this particular video that how exactly write operations are performed. Uh, in a simple way, you have one client, then client creates a distributed file system instance. This distributed file system instance contact to the name node, get the list of data available data nodes where blocks needs to be written. And then uh, this distributed file system creates an output stream. And this output stream maintains a data queue where all the packets are written. And uh, these packets are consumed by data streamer, which is uh, the uh, class which eventually physically writes the data onto a data block. Then in the picture comes the pipelining of data nodes to create the replica of, of every block. And once the minimum replication is achieved, name node assume that the file is safely written. So that's it in this particular video, guys. Have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.